Anybody know when the high period of Christianity in Ireland was? Well, it's, it's a difficult question. St. Patrick was alleged to have come to Ireland in 432, bringing Christianity with him. It's more than likely that there were other Christian missionaries around before him. But he got the press. He's the one we remember. And there your role was going. And um, that began a great period of the growth of Christianity in Ireland with the building of churches and monasteries. And Ireland really flourished that, during that period. Hills, yes. The highest mountain in Ireland, though, is only 3,200 feet. And Ireland is like a big saucer. Mountains all around the edges and a big, flat, boggy plain in the center. And over the course of these years, over a million Irish people died of starvation. Starvation. Pure starvation. And over a million people emigrated. At the end of the famine, the population in Ireland was less than 6 million people. Think about your history. Late 1500s, Henry VIII had introduced um, the Church of England or Protestantism into England. And uh, meanwhile, Calvin and Locke and all the rest, not Locke, but <laughs> excuse me, uh, Presbyterianism was growing. And the English did not like Presbyterianism. It was a threat to the Church of England, this Protestant society that they were trying to set up. So they wanted to get rid of all the Presbyterians. Where did they send them? Northern <laughs> Ireland. Now, that's what you see in the documentary that I saw in November, was looking at these young people going to work in England, and they are doing the digging and the carrying and the kind of physical labor that their maybe great-grandfathers would have done, and their great-grandfathers would not have had the education. They just were laborers. They had never had any that so it's very painful to see these highly educated young people. One of the issues also is that in this country, uh, our immigration policies have you know, tightened up. It's not as easy to become an immigrant into the United States anymore. And yet there's this wealth of talent out there, innovative talent, you know, that would be such a, I think, a boost to this country. But it's very difficult. So those are the ironies of development. Yeah. And that, I mean, that's Ireland today. So, so disabuse yourselves of any notions of sort of the picture postcard, <coughs> St. Patrick's Day, nostalgia. And Ireland is a real, live, living country with all of the um, advantages and disadvantages of a modern society. Any questions?